Welcome back to my channel Brain Logic and really interesting challenge today 20 plus 10 divided by 2 minus 1 this is challenge you've ever seen but a lot of students make this mistake so in this video I'm going to fully explain you how you can solve this correctly and step by step before solving this video I suggest you to pause the video try to solve it by yourself what do you think A, B, C, three options so let's test our knowledge in the end of the video it will be really interesting first of all I want to start with this first interpretation so just take a look closely we have 20 we have plus 10 divided by 2 and minus 1. A lot of students don't know about order of operation, they solve this challenge like that, they say okay we have 20 plus 10 on the left hand side, which gives us right here we have 30 with this division by 2, we have 30 divided by 2 minus 1, yeah right here with this division we have, we have 15 and we subtract 1 from here, so as a result we have we have 14 okay yeah so we have 14 this is option a so a lot of students solve this question like that they say that correct answer to this challenge is 14 but i want you to understand that in math we can't solve our challenges randomly we cannot solve our challenges wherever we want we should know what is the correct order to do this problem so in this second interpretation i want you to look at this for example pandas order of operation this is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to this PAMDAS order of operation. Okay, so right now let's solve this question right here according to the PAMDAS. Okay, so we have 20 plus 10 divided by 2 and minus 1. Okay, so here's our challenge. How does PAMDAS work? PAMDAS works from the top to the bottom, so the highest priority has parentheses and the lowest priority has addition and subtraction okay so highest priority right here on the on the top and the lowest on the bottom and how can we solve this question according to pandas we should scan what elements do we have in our challenge we have addition division subtraction let's find where do we have these elements right here so addition we have right here subtraction yeah and we have division okay and as i told before first we should evaluate parentheses we don't have parentheses so we just we just skip this part secondly we should evaluate our exponents part okay but we don't have any exponents right here so we just skip this part as well third step multiplication and division group this is one common group a lot of students forget about it this is one common group so we should scan it in the perspective of a group yeah we don't have any multiplication sign we, we, we reject it and we have division sign right here so we should start from this division because division has the higher position than addition and subtraction which is our last group so firstly we should divide okay so we have 20 plus 10 divided by 2 equal to equal to 5 okay and minus 1 and right now you don't need your order of operation because this is very basic addition subtraction group so we can complete this division group and we can easily complete this addition subtraction group which is which is easy for us because this is our like our final step everyone know about this addition subtraction so we have 25 minus 1 which gives us 24 and this is a very tricky moment because a lot of students don't see this option 24 right here and then they go back to this answer 14 they say that 14 is correct answer but 14 is bad answer 14 is absolutely wrong answer because we solve it according to a wrong order of operation we just solve this challenge wherever we want with parentheses this is a great solution because then we should start with addition but without parentheses addition before division this is a very huge mistake in terms of math so with parentheses this is a great solution parentheses start then addition will have the higher priority than division because addition is inside parentheses which is our first step so then okay with with parentheses correct answer is 14. but in our case we don't have parentheses so forget about this this option a which is a really bad thing in terms of mass let's look right here this is a great solution this is a correct solution solution because mm, correct order is division addition and subtraction okay so what about option right here we have a b and c but c is really weird thing right here because this is looks like factorial challenge we have one times two times three times four which is equal to we have 1 times 2 times 3, 6, 6 times 4, we have, yeah, we have 24, so this here, this is the same 24 as right here, which is absolutely correct answer according to PAMDAS order of operation. So let's write our answer right here, correct answer to this challenge, this is option C. So I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel with really interesting uh, different algebra challenges with pre-algebra concept with basic math. So I hope you will enjoy it. Also wishing you all the best. Thank you for your time and have a great day. See you in the next videos.